Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Blaze here, back again with another video. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, recently we just left off with another uh, tutorial, and today I am bringing you the <laughs> music player system, um, and this is going to be the fixed version. Now, um, in this video we're going to be doing this just live, and um, I'm going to be talking about what we're adding to it and what we're fixing. Um, and also, we are going to be um, talking about what's coming for the vibe kit and everything. But um, yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much to me. And also, while you're out, if you want, you can join the Discord. It is in the description. And we do host giveaways there, so um, it's pretty nice. Um, but um, yeah, everybody. So we're going to get right into this. Now, if you are new and you don't have this music system you're going to go to the description and you're going to be grabbing this right here um this is going to be updated at the end of the video but i'm going to be updating it right now with you guys and everything like that so this will be nice um but basically uh once you get that model we're going to go to toolbox and we're going to import it now if you guys already have this model we're going to basically just uh, fix it for you and you can fix it by following these steps or you can um, just re-import at your choice. So this is the um, workspace board, so we'll just keep that right there. Uh, so we're let's just quickly ungroup this now. Um, let's go right here. There we go. Bada boom, bada beam, and then we'll ungroup these. And da -da -da. and bada boom. All right. Now, it does have the Vibe GUI. Um, I haven't really took a look at this in a while, so I'm going to be updating this for the Vibe Kit. But um, for now, let's quickly look at what we're we'll be doing. So we're going to be going into Music Player Commands and the Music Player System. System, sorry, I'm having hiccups right now. Um, so I did leave you guys some uh, IDs, I guess. Um, and I guess I heard that one of them were... Um, some of them are copyrighted so what was happening is it would break the system but we're changing that so it doesn't do that okay um so yeah let's quickly look at this again um what we're going to be creating is a few things we're going to be creating a new bindable event now the bindable event is what is going to be um the way to skip the songs and everything and also to make this system just uh, better in general. So what we're going to be making is a new local called completed bindable and we're going to go instance dot new equals um, bindable event. So that's going to be our new bindable event and then we're going to be setting that name to completed bindable and then we are going to be setting the parent to uh, the server storage now you can set this to re replicate storage if you want but i recommend just server storage for now because why not um i'm going to separate that um so this is the new completed bindable and we're going to be using this in the script now we're going to go all the way down to the uh, bottom and we don't need to worry about end of these because uh this is already just um with the dev product and everything like that now i know there has been an issue some people are saying the dev product that you should only have one script and yes that is true and i'm gonna be updating this like i said but um don't worry about this for now you're you're all right but we're gonna be really looking at the main player right here this is the main part um so what we want to add at the bottom we're gonna do this real quick so we're gonna go sound dot ended and then connect um function sorry let me do that for you sorry my hands are like being all weird right now <laughs> then we're going to be creating this to be completed bindable fire and then we are going to end right here and then we're going to do sound dot stopped connect function completed bindable fire end all right so now you're probably confused what this both do um this is the ended and stop so basically ended and stop is kind of the same thing so that just basically is going to check if the sound is done like if it is done fully now if it is done we are going to fire this uh complete this bindable event now we're going to be adding to where we're actually going to check if this bindable event is being um used um but first we need to do the part where the sound dot loaded so this is kind of outdated so we're not actually going to be doing that right there we're going to be adding a new part so let's just do that and then we're gonna just separate it so we know what we're adding. Um, and then we're gonna do this. So we're gonna create a new local count. And this is going to be checking um, basically if the sound is being played, if any sound is being played. Um, why are we doing this? This is um, to double check that the sound is being played 
and if it isn't being played, then we are not going to be, we're going to be skipping the song, basically. Now, um, so what we're doing here is we're going to keep uh, checking, and we're going to check if it's loaded, or if the count is greater than or equal to two, or you can do four. Um, this is just seconds. Um, I'd recommend just kind of like four works. It uh, gives a good time to check if the sound is loaded, but... Um, you don't need to really change any of these other values, but this is like the value to wait to check if it needs to be loaded or if it needs to be changed. But this is what is basically going to be skipping the songs. So this kind of actually is the part that's going to help um, skip content deleted sounds and just the ones that don't work. But yeah, so that's about it. So this one's all right. Now we are going to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to check if sound dot is loaded. So if it is then whatever you're going to do is we are going to grab this right here boom, and we're going to put this right in here and just like that there we go now you're all right and we are going to get rid of this we are going to copy one of these down here and instead of this right here we're going to put this right here and then actually we're going to be doing this instead because this is um, the actual format for content deleted uh, I don't know what I was thinking but there we go and then that's about it so um, also wait no there we go one more thing this thing sound ended wait we're gonna give you rid of that and we're gonna go completed bindable I mean dot event there we go wait so now this is going to be doing the whole checking and seeing if it works so that's about it for the main music player system part like this is literally what we're doing right here we are just going to um check if it's loaded and if it isn't loaded then we're not going to be playing the song um we're going to wait and we're just going to keep repeating and everything and this is when we do the completed bindable event and this is much easier you guys and also the reason for this event um is because we're gonna go to music player commands and we're actually going to change this right here. So now what you're going to do is you're going to um, get rid of this. And you can also um, get rid of these prints right here. They're not very uh, helpful. Um, let me just get rid of that. Oh, wait. Well, what did I just do? Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of these for you because these um, we already know what they're doing. Um, like that. And then we are going to do this. So local completed bindable equals game get service server storage and then we're gonna wait for child and we're gonna wait for completed bindable um like that there we go and then what we're doing is if they do the skip then completed bindable is going to check and we're gonna fire it so that's about it um now this is going to skip the song if it is wanting to be skipped um, and then of course right here, this is going to be checking if the sound is loaded. If it's not loaded, then we're not going to play anything. Um, we're going to keep checking again and checking and checking and then we're going to play the new song. Now, um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'm going to be updating this. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be updating this way more for um, the vibe kit coming. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. You guys just got completable bindable right here. Um, oh, actually, let me... Uh, Sorry, I didn't name that right. But that is it, you guys. So if you did enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Um, I will be uploading this right now so you guys can fix this. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's nothing too crazy to it. Um, and also another thing, if you are wondering where the thing is right here, you got to go here and you got to go to Dorney and click that right there. And there you go. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please feel free to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.